We continue with your topic about video cards from AliExpress. To buy with, as I said you before, it's like join raffle. You can get a nice sample, which will serve you for a long time and will come in a perfect condition. Or you can get a trash with fake memory chips, dirty and full of dust with broken coolers. I am lucky second time and I believe it depends on the seller. So I will leave for you all links on seller in description. Today in this video review, we have AMD Rix 480 from Mixafix company, a version on 4 gigs of VRAM. I wanna tell you one thing, I received this graphic card in a very good condition, it looks clean and with fresh thermal compound. Let's review technical specifications of this graphic card from official website. Compute units 36, base clock 1120MHz, clock and a boost up to 1266MHz, stream processors 2304, memory capacity 4 gigs of DDR5 memory RAM, effective clock 7000MHz, with bus 256-bit, graphic card demands 1.8-pin power cable. We have the graphic card from XFX company, which has a higher clock and a good appearance. Also, cooling system has three heat pipes. Our cooling system easily handled with GPU, but the graphic card is not noiseless. In open stand, I can clearly hear how cooler spinnings. But the most important that we have a nice temperature here. Graphic card has two biases, especially it helpful for mining or if you're going to modify bias. This GPU can be overclocked. I reached 1326 for core and did not touch memory. In reality, all you need to do just click one button in MD software and it will overclock automatically. The stand we have MD Ryzen 7 1700 working on 3.6 GHz, memory RAM 16 gigs, DDR4 working on 3000 MHz. All games I run from SSD storage from AliExpress. For video recording, I used video capture cards to avoid any impact on the FPS. If you like that video, please do not forget about subscription, smash like and few comments. All useful links Links as always in description. First game on our test is Fortnite, all settings on middle and full HD resolution, GPU loading on 100%. We have a rare pulsations, but after short time they disappear. Minimum we have 105 and an average 136 FPS. This is a pretty good FPS I would say. Next game on our test is PUBG, game demanding good graphic card, all settings on middle and full HD resolution. And here we have a rare pulsations as well, but this is ok for PUBG, happening on any system. Minimum we have 89 and 180 FPS in average. Gameplay is good and playable, this FPS enough for a game. One more line game is Apex Legends, middle low settings and full HD resolution, pretty heavy location, frame graph here looks fine and GP loading here very good as well, minimum we have a 98 and 100 FPS on average, no any problems confirmed. Pretty heavy game is Battlefield 5, middle settings, full HD and DirectX 11, cause we still have a bug with 12, frame graph and time looks ok, minimum 95 and 110 FPS on average, gameplay is good and convenient, for Battlefield this is enough.
Next game on our test is Outer Worlds. Game is fresh and like graphic arts. All settings on high end full HD resolution. And here we have a single pulsation on the graph, but inside the game I would say everything is normal. Anyway, frame time is ok, minimum 52 and an average 59 FPS. This is a fine and playable FPS, but I would prefer middle settings here. Kingdom Come is the next game on our test, high settings and full HD resolution and here frame graph is not perfect, gameplay at the same time is ok, minimum 55 and an average 70 fps, you can play on that settings, but again I prefer here middle settings to avoid any micro stutters. Next game on our test is Witcher 3, high settings and full HD resolution. Frame graph looks fine for me, gameplay is straight and good. Inside the battle we have a minimum 78 and 89 FPS on average. No any questions for game, everything looks fine. Last game on our desk is Metro Exodus, all on high and full HD and DirectX 12. Gameplay is pretty vigorous, game runs well without any problems, although we have not perfect frame graph, minimum we have 47 and an average 65 FPS, this I believe is a nice result. So what I think about this GPU, I'm not afraid to take GPUs from AliExpress, yeah I know they all from mining, but if you're not going to take GPU from the store and wanna take it from second hand, then it's from mining for sure, I mean 90% of used graphic card from mining, how long this card will work nobody knows, but the RX 470 from previous videos still alive, only one minus here is the temperature and sound, this card is pretty loud, thanks all for watching that video, I hope that it was at least useful for you, please subscribe subscribe on my channel, smash like and see you in the next video.